welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an updated foundation routine. I don't even really wanna call it that because it's not an updated foundation routine, but it's what I do on those days when my skin, number one, either feels really dry and tight on my face and I don't wanna go with a matte foundation, or on those days where I just want to go with more of a dewy look. I feel like it's really pretty for the summertime to have kind of like a glow from within. So a lot of you guys know that I have been using and loving the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth Cream Foundation. It looks like this. And I showed you guys in my monthly favorites that I've been using something very similar or it looks very similar but it has a very different finish. The CoverGirl has a matte finish and the one that I'm using in today's video is Maybelline's Dream Smooth Mousse. And this is what it looks like right here. And this one has more of a dewy finish. As you guys can see, it gives my face kind of a glowy look, but it doesn't look overly greasy or shiny. I used to be 100% all about a matte look every single day. But I don't know, for some reason lately in the summer, I kind of like to shine and glow a little bit more. So if you guys wanna see how it's done, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so holy Jesus, it is seven o'clock in the morning and I just rolled out of bed 15 minutes ago. I have a really early doctor's appointment and I look crazy, but I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. I think this is the earliest that I've ever filmed. So the first thing that I'm going to do, well, let me show you guys what I have on already. The only thing that I have something on is my lips. This is a great kisser by The Bomb. It's just a regular chapstick. I put this on every single morning when I wake up. And the next thing that I'm going to jump into is my moisturizer. So the one that I've been using lately is by acne.org and it's just their basic moisturizer. I'm gonna be pretty generous with it and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. Next, I'm gonna go in with my current under eye moisturizer. This one is by Clinique. It's called All About Eyes and it actually says that it reduces circles and puffiness so I definitely need that this morning. And I like to put this underneath my eyes and then also on the top because for some reason, I experience more puffiness on my eyelids than underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to smooth this on. All right, now since we are targeting people with more of a drier skin type and aiming for more of a dewy look, I'm actually gonna be using two setting sprays in this video. And the first one is not really a setting spray, it's more of a hydrating mist. You guys have seen this a lot in my skincare routine and my later foundation routines. And this is by Juice Beauty, it's called their Hydrating Mist. And basically what it is is a whole bunch of fruit extracts that are really, really moisturizing to the skin and it contains no water. So you're not paying like $20 for a bottle of water. I picked this up at Ulta and I'm just going to spray it on. The thing about this stuff, the reason that I like to put it on before my makeup is because it has a very sticky feeling to it and if I spray it after my makeup it kind of stays tacky all day long but if I apply it before I put my foundation on it really helps the foundation to adhere to my skin a lot longer. And now we're finally ready to start with our foundation. We're going to be using the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse. They also have a matte formula but I'm definitely loving the Dream Smooth Mousse a lot better and mine is in the shade Creamy Natural. I always gravitate towards the shades that have more of a yellow undertone because that's what my skin has and I'm actually going to be using a beauty blender with it this is a damp beauty blender what I did was run it under the sink and then I just take a paper towel and make sure to soak up all the extra water and I have recently been loving the beauty blender because it really infuses a lot of hydration into my skin and it makes it a cinch to apply my foundation in the morning so this is what it looks like and I'm just going to dab it on in the beginning when I first started using this foundation I would go like this I dabbed it in and I worked that in and then I went for more, but I find that it's a lot quicker, easier, faster if I just take a bunch of dabs, apply it all over my face, and then I'm going to go in and blend out everything in one big motion. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm going to apply the amount that I think that I need. I had a scratch there, and you guys can see it got covered up. All right, so I applied a good amount. The Beauty Blender also helps you to not over apply, which is really great. And this foundation has a good amount of coverage. I would say medium to buildable. So as you guys can see, I'm just going in and pouncing over everything and really just evening everything out. All right, so it covered up everything except my under eye circles. I don't ever layer my foundation and my under eye concealer because I feel like it's a little bit too much and it could get cakey. So what I like to do next is just take one more dab and cover up my problem areas, which is right now my nose. There's always like redness around my nose and a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks. So that's really the only areas that I need a second layer. 
and then I'm going to move into my concealer. Holy, I'm starting to look even more crazy than I did in the beginning of the video because now my under eye circles really stand out. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Light. And I love this concealer. It's very, very hydrating. And I have a huge, huge problem with my concealers creasing underneath my eyes. And for some reason, with Maybelline concealers, I don't have that problem. So I'm also going to be layering another concealer with it. And this is the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. And I feel like it just adds to the overall dewy, fresh look. So I'm just going to layer them both the same exact way on the eyelids. And you never want to forget right here on the inside of your eyes because that tends to be a dark spot for a lot of women. And then I'm going to go in with a Morphe G2 brush. I love it because it's pointed and fits right into the crevices underneath my eyes and I'm just going to blend this out. So you guys can see that this foundation left a beautiful, naturally dewy finish. I'm hoping that the camera is going to pick it up. I think that it's so fresh and young looking, especially for the summertime. So I'm not going to set it with a powder. This is for people that have more of a dry skin type. If you have more of an oily skin type, but you still like that fresh, dewy look, I would recommend dusting a little bit of a loose powder over your t-zone but what i'm going to do is just set my under eyes so i'm going to be using a powder foundation for a little bit of extra coverage and i did just come out with a video on this powder foundation showing you guys how i like to use it all over my face as well for days when i really want to be quick and out the door this is the mineral wear talc free mineral face powder also in the shade creamy natural by physicians formula and i'm going to take the same exact brush and i'm just going to dab it to set my concealer because one of the things that irks me the most is creased concealer. So this is just going to give a little bit more coverage since it is a powder foundation and set that area for me. And lastly, we're gonna do my favorite part, which is the brown bronzer. No. And we're gonna finish off with my favorite steps, which is my bronzer, blush, and highlight. So you guys know the only bronzer that I've used for years and years now is the L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade W8. This is also a powder foundation. So as you guys can see, I'm building up the coverage in different areas with different products as well. So I'm using a Sigma F40 angled brush for a couple of things. And you guys can see that this foundation, since it is a pretty full coverage, it blanked out my entire face. So I definitely need to add in some more shadows, bring my contour back um, because it is a little bit too light for me. So I like to go around my forehead. This is a trick for you girls out there like me that have a bigger forehead. I'm also gonna bring it down onto my temples. I'm not going to contour, but I'm going to apply it right underneath my cheekbones to kind of sculpt it out a little bit and bronze me up at the same time. I love this brush for this. It fits right in that spot so nicely. And then underneath my jawline, under the chin, sides of the nose, and same thing on the other side. All right, and as you guys can see, as the foundation sets, it doesn't have too much of an overly shiny finish. It has the most gorgeous, I wanna say satin type of finish to it. It's very fresh and subtle and dewy, and I absolutely love it. I've been addicted to this foundation since I picked it up, and I believe that it's only like $6 at the drugstore. So what I'm gonna be using for a blush today is Warm Soul by MAC. If you're going for more of a dewy look, I would recommend using something with a little bit of shimmer in it, but you wanna be careful not to use something with big chunks of glitter because that is going to emphasize texture and pores and not very good looking skin. It's gonna just bring out the texture in your skin. So you wanna use something that has very, very fine little shimmers in it, not really glitter at all. And this is a, all, an all time, all time favorite of mine. A long time favorite of mine, there we go. And last but not least, we're gonna finish with our highlighter. This is the one by Jaclyn Hill and Becca. It's called Champagne Pop. It's the most gorgeous, golden, oh my god, heaven ever. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna be using, with, using it with a setting brush by Real Techniques. And this stuff right here literally is everything. This is everything. I'm so in love with it. It makes your skin look so, oh my god, I don't even know how to describe it. I need like 10 back, backups of this. It makes your skin look so like airbrushed and it's kind of like a highlight that gives you that wet look 
which I love. I love the way that it's very finely milled. So I could basically bathe in this stuff. I don't only apply it on my face, I apply it on my body too. And I like to highlight the tops of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and then also on the tip of my nose which is something that I haven't really done before since um, any other highlighters that I had but for some reason with this one I wanted to try that and I really like the way that it looks just on the tip of the nose and then on Cupid's bow blend it all out and that really just like finishes the entire look look at that oh gorgeous all right so everything might look a little bit much right now because I don't have the rest of my uh, makeup on so I'm gonna finish everything up and I will be right back all right so I'm done with the rest of my makeup I will list everything down below that I used on my face and as you guys can see it gives off a very nice dewy look without looking overly shiny and greasy because there could also be an extreme to that as well which would not look really good so this is the finished look right here I hope that you guys enjoyed it I also want to say that what I do do after I finish all of my makeup, my mascara, my eyebrows, everything, eyeliner, I go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Even though it says that it's a primer water, you could definitely use it over your makeup as well. So I'm gonna do that now. Shake this baby up, spray it on. And I find that this just gives even more, I always taste this every single time that I spray it. It gives even more of a dewy look and it makes everything blend in together and look even more natural, especially because we use a lot of powder to contour and to highlight. Sometimes that can look a little bit matte on the face. So this adds even more to that dewy, beautiful, fresh, summery look. I really feel like the Aqua Smooth by CoverGirl is very, very matte. And then the Dream Smooth Mousse is very satiny slash dewy. So sometimes if I don't want one extreme or the other, I will actually mix the two of them and I'll do it the same exact way. I'll just go dab in this one dab it all over the face take the same sponge dab it in this one dab it all over my face in no special order and then I just buff everything in and it comes out really nice and seamless and kind of in the middle of a matte foundation and a satin foundation so yeah that is it for this tutorial I hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have any other requests and I will see you all in my next video Mwah. bye